The Cossack Regiment of Transnistria proudly described themselves as the Army of Christ. They played a decisive role in the civil war when the state broke away from Moldova more than two decades ago. To this day, they maintain their combat readiness as they watch the developments in neighboring Ukraine, prepared to defend a country as yet unrecognized even by Moscow. Historically, Cossacks are the patriots, and we raise our young people in the spirit of patriotism and love for the motherland, so they will grow up as defenders of their land. The president of Transnistria insisted his country's future lay in Moscow's orbit, but was alarmed about the events unfolding in Ukraine. It indicates what could possibly be the start of a civil war, when brother attacks brother. This is the worst thing that could possibly happen. Moldova and Kiev moving towards Europe. Here we are moving in completely the opposite direction. We respect their choice, but for stability's sake and for the long-term strategy of ending conflict, we must respect the opinion of the people who live here. Outside the Russian embassy in the capital of Tiraspol, long queues of people gather every morning to get a passport. Their own Transnistrian ones are not recognized by any other country. They feel it's the key that will unlock jobs and the future for them. What happens here next is very much in Moscow's hands. Will they recognize it as an independent state or will President Putin issue a decree, much like he did with Crimea, and make it part of the Russian Federation? Work crews were out in force preparing for the 70th anniversary of their liberation from German and Romanian occupation in the Second World War. They have always seen a threat from the West and salvation from the East. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Transnistria.